hey guys i'm back with another video and i just want to thank y'all for coming back to watch my videos for subscribing for you know just supporting me in whatever way you can you know thank you for i mean if you're gonna like if you're gonna comment if you're gonna subscribe good looking out anyway i'm gonna just jump right into the story um, I didn't did this. I didn't recorded this shit like four times, y'all, for real. Like, I, and I'm not trying to be mean or nothing. So maybe that's probably what I'm. Why I keep redoing it because I'm not trying to be mean. But let's just get into it. So we're gonna name this girl. We're gonna name this girl Summer, and Summer wanted me to do her hair she wanted me to come to her house and do her hair so i'm like okay cool like i'm cool with it like you know I, when you want me to pull up i'm, I'm gonna do it i could i could i work so i can't do it like whenever like i'm but on my off days when i'm free or whatever you know i'll i'll, I'll do your hair and She was like, she called me and I went over to her house to do her hair. I think it was like a Friday or a Saturday or something like that. And she was cook. When I got there, she was cooking. And um, it was somebody, I want to say, it was somebody already there. Like some, some other girl that was already there. And we're going to call her Winner. <laughs> So summer and winter, they in there, they chilling and they having a good time and they um taking shots or whatever. And I'm coming over to do her hair. So um winter like let's um we should play some dominoes or something like let's play dominoes. So we end up playing some dominoes while she was cooking or whatever, just like waiting on like, you know, just in between time, like while she cooking or whatever. And uh, we took a couple shots, and we chilling, we chilling. And I'm, my, I'm, mind you, I'm there to do her hair. Like when I'm f come through the door, I'm like, I'm ready. My mind is ready to do hair. Like I'm ready to, you know, not like I'm trying to like do your hair and leave, but just I'm, I'm, I'm cool with chilling. Like it's no big deal or whatever. But I'm, you know. So after I, I start to be, not that, after I start to get comfortable. And, you know, she done cooking or whatever. She started passing out plates. So, I'm like, okay, shit, that's cool, you know. We eating the shit. She wanted me to put, like, a sewing weave in her head. And, um, I think she wanted, like, some bangs or something. But she wanted me to do, like, a sewing, you know. And I'm like, okay, cool. So, after I'm done eating, you know, I get myself together so I can prepare myself to do her hair. Like, I'm preparing myself. So, like, she still has, at this time, I feel like she still had to take down her hair or, I mean, because it took, like, I got there, I want to say I got there at a decent hour. You know what I'm saying? I didn't just come over, like, 8 o'clock in the morning. I came over, like, at 12, 1 o'clock or something like that. And, um, all this was going on and we were chilling and she was cooking and, and I'm thinking I'm about to do her hair, but you know, it's all this is going on, playing dominoes, we didn't got sidetracked and everything's going on, having a good time. It's cool. I'm not, I don't have a problem with that. But then maybe like a little later on in the day, I had to wait because she had to take her hair out or something like she was doing something with her hair, like something she had to do to her hair before I could start doing it. So after she was finally done, um, I'm chilling. In. Like, I mean, I'm not that I'm ready to do her hair, but I'm just like, girl. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, whatever. I, let me, let me do it. Let me, let me snap back <laughs> into, into it. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's what you came over here for. So, um, 
I'm getting ready. And she she pulled her hair off. And I was just shocked because I'm like, girl, like, you could have said, like, okay, I'm working with a, I'm not working with a lot, but I still need you to do my hair. But I would appreciate a heads up because how am I supposed to know that it's not really much going on? Like, if I don't know, I mean, how am I supposed to know it's not really much going on? Like, you... I'm trying to lay down the foundation with the braid and hair and shit. I'm trying to lay down this foundation and it's barely, I'm trying to catch it and it's nothing to catch. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be rude. Excuse me. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I just want y'all to visualize what I'm working with. It's nothing. And it's not nothing against anybody that has... I mean, I would think if you have damage to your hair or if you have a condition or something, you will let the person that is tending to you or the, you will let your stylist know. I'm not a stylist, but you will let somebody that's doing your hair know X, Y, Z. You know what I'm saying? So that they're not like rough on your hair or just like on your scalp or just like, you know what I'm saying? Just give them the heads up so they know like okay boom like don't do this because you let me know xyz like that's that's it like it's no it's no big deal like it's not a problem i just feel like damn like you should let me know because now i'm like trying to figure out how the fuck i'm gonna fucking do what you asking of me i'm trying you know what i'm saying i'm not a magician <laughs> But I'm try. I try my best. I promise you. And she wanted like, she wanted her. She put. She had her bundles. And normally when I do a sewing, I use a net. So I just um lay down the foundation, and I um put the net on, and you know I get to going in with the with the bundles, <coughs> and. It was a little, it was a challenge and it was a, it was a challenge, but I felt like I, I did a good job because with not knowing and just being put on the spot after I'm chilling and I'm, you know, like not even saying that that's like plays a part, but after I'm chilling and like, I'm just stunned with this, like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, I don't, I don't want to put too much on it, but it was, I mean, if you're a stop, if you're, if you are a stylist and you, and you have a client or whatever, I'm sure you have it, they have it in their, you know, policy where you let them know, like, what's going on with your, the condition of your hair. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, or maybe they don't. Like, you have to, like, or you can have a little comment. It's a little comment section where you can put, like, hey, my hair is damaged or I have a certain type of condition and this is what's going on, but I would really like you to do my hair. Can you get back to me? <laughs> or something. Like, you don't just bring it on a person. But, I mean... That's just, it's, I wouldn't even call it like a horror story, but I just felt like it was shocking. And I think that people, you should let people know because it's just, well, I, it's very, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. I felt, I felt uncomfortable because I, well, I'm, now I can't say nothing. At least you let me know then I know that I'm not going to be shocked like, oh, damn. I mean, you know, you want baby hairs, but it's no baby hairs. You want, you want like a little swoop going on, but it's nothing there. Like, I, it's nothing there. Like, how am I supposed to give you what you want? It's nothing there. Like, I'm sorry. And I'm not trying to be rude, but thank you guys for watching my, my little story. <laughs> That's. 
That's going to be it, though. Thanks for watching.